one of these things is going. So we can do a little check-in on that when we start our meditation, see where we're at. We can do a check-in through the meditation. You might become aware through the meditation that you know, you're not able to get absorbed. Why aren't we able to get absorbed? What is it that's keeping us out of that place of absorption? I'm really looking, trying to look into our experience to see if we can meet whatever it is that's trying to keep us out of that, that place. I often use the question, what doesn't want to be here? What doesn't want to be here? And that can sometimes open up, you know, just a, um, some, I think, you know, on a deeper level that's not being acknowledged in my experience. And that can come up and that can be met. And the energy that's been held down in that, in whatever way, then releases into the meditation. As we do start to become more absorbed, we can go from you know, we're not looking at the, the hindrances anymore, they've pretty much abated, and we're able to more or less stay with the breathing or whatever it is, you know, we're focusing on the body or the breath. And we can start to become aware of elements. I would kind of call them positive energies, I would say, within, within the meditation and within the body. And they're recognizable um, within the body. And these are, um, because the hindrances have abated for a, for a while, these energies can start to become more present. So the first thing that tends to arise is, um, well, is just the sense of there being more energy uh, within our experience. And this is called, in, in the tradition, it's called preeti or, or rapture. Um, it doesn't always have to be as full-blown as, as rapture. But it might be just energy sort of traveling, often people get this way, traveling up the spine, as it were, um, even bolts of energy. They can be quite strong. Or it could be just a sort of energetic feel within the body as well. So, um, one thing to look out for um, in meditation, this, which is the kind of start of one of these, what are called the factors of the art or factors of absorption. Uh, is, um, is this kind of tingling energy that can be experienced through the body. So um, it was only probably about um, 10 or 15 years ago that I kind of noticed this tingling, tingling energy in the body. Like I said, I think my early meditation career was a bit too sort of up here. But I started, as I started to meditate more from the body and notice the body, I noticed there's this this tingling energy that sort of travels around the body. I mean, I know I'm not the only one who has it. <laughs> I, I, I imagine many of you have experienced it uh, as well. So this is that, that rapture, that pretty kind of energy that's starting to kind of awaken. So meditative absorption is, is very much, in, you know, in my experience, very much an energetic thing. And it's almost like, um, Although we go kind of deeper, we also sort of rise often in our, in our energy levels. Um, to start with, when I first started to kind of experience this kind of energy meditation, um, I could never contain it. It would just like, it would just come too much too quickly. Um, and I would, you know, I'd sort of, it knocked me out of the meditation. Then I'd find myself sort of wandering off again. But eventually, you know, I learned by being still and being much more in the body and much more in the actual physical experience of that energy to to contain it so that's one of the, the energies that can we can start to become aware of and the other one um, in the tradition is called sukkah and um, sukkah literally means bliss so it might not be as strong as bliss but it could become as strong as bliss but for me, it's always started in the body. Um, and it's you've got that sort of energetic aspect going on in the body that we can be aware of. But there's a, there's a deeper kind of contentment kind of feeling. So sort of think, you know, eating a really 
good meal. You, know, you haven't eaten too much, you just did the right amount, you know. And there's a sense of you know, sitting by the warm fireside and a sense of ease, you know, no troubles. Like a sense of contentment, not just, you know. Emotional, but also kind of bodily, can be quite a, um, a bodily sense of content. But there's a very keen belly. I think, you know, our real brain is really down here. And in a way, the seat of consciousness is more down here. And out of that, you know, often out of the belly, literally, can come this sort of deeper sense of, of contentment. So, you know, we can look for these things. We can look for the energetic tingling or whatever. Um, and we can also look for this deeper sense of, of contentment. In fact, we just, you know, we started to, the mind has started to settle, we start to look more and more for any of these positive qualities that might be manifested. Okay. So, that looks good. We'll do a lead meditation again today in the usual way, and um, you know, having looked to see what's there, whether we are one of these hindrances is going on particularly strongly, address that to, as, um, within the meditation, and then we'll go on and have a look at some of these what I call them energetic factors that might be present. Sound okay? So, coming into this moment of awareness. Here and now of being in the room. Being here, Crystal Buddha Center, in the shrine room, and seated on our meditative spot. Got best part of an hour just to dedicate to the inward journey. Resolving to make the best use we can in the next 40 minutes or so. conscious where the locus, the sort of center of our tension is, is it up in the head? Is it in the body? Is it in the heart? Where is it? Where do we feel ourselves in this moment? And if it's up in the head, 
just unhooking from the thinking mind we spend so much of our time and coming into the physical body and the direct sensate awareness the sensations of the body so we can start that in the head and face Aware of the sensations in the head and face, the lips, the mouth, the area around the eyes, the jaw, the back of the head, wherever we notice those sensations. Allowing our attention, our awareness to flow into the sensations themselves. So rather than thoughts being at the center of our attention, it's our sensate experience that becomes the thing in the center of our attention. And coming down through the body to the lower abdomen. It's gradually, gently coming down and as we pass down through the body, in the same way as with the head being aware of the sensations we encounter as we pass down with our attention into the body. So sensations in the neck and throat. Sensations in the upper chest, around the heart area, really trying to inhabit the sensations. Sensations around the diaphragm, bottom of the rib cage, coming down to the lower abdomen, staying with the sensations. Taking in the body as a whole. The 
But again, taking it in a, in a sensate way. And at this point, the conscious of being quite still and aware in the body. Or it may be there's something pulling us away. There's some sense of disease with simply being here and aware in the body. So just checking out whether that's the case. Whether we feel there's something pulling us out of this present moment of bodily awareness. Maybe some sense of not wanting to be here. And can we get a sense of there's something not wanting to be here, not able to rest in the meditation? Whether we are energetically high in the body, whether there's restlessness and anxiety. Racing thoughts, ideas about what we need to do. The energy that doesn't want to let go, doesn't want to settle. Maybe that we are feeling sleepy and sluggish. We want to, as it were, sink into our consciousness.
testing these things against our experience. Maybe we are trying to think of some future event, some future pleasure. It's as it were pulling us forward. Or we are reacting to something, something not wanted in experience, maybe something hurtful or difficult we're trying to push out of consciousness. Just become aware if there's pulls in these different directions. Maybe enough just to be aware of it. And to pull the energy, as it were, back to the center. Gently back into the heart, into the torso. Into the embodied sense. Maybe we are just content to be here. Aware in the body. Turn our attention to the breathing. The embodied experience of the breathing.
And if we've been in a routine, stay with the body and the breath for a while. Start to look for these energetic, energetic factors. And there's the pretty that can be present in the body that you can be aware of. Or you can be aware of it in the form of a sense of aliveness. In the body. And you also notice kind of tingling energy that can pass through the body. Sometimes felt on the surface of the skin. Uh, Travelling up the spine, as it were. In order to increase this factor, pretty, of rising energy, it's enough just to notice, be aware of it, allow it into awareness. We're simply paying attention to it. This energy, pretty, and start to increase. Become more present and mobile. It's like as if, the energy, as if the charge of energy was coming into the body from somewhere. I'm not trying to make this happen or force it to happen, but just by tending gently. To the energy.
So we have a lot of energy we can become aware of this the sukha. It appears like a deeper sense of contentment or even sense of peace. Sukha can actually arise from simply the, the act of being present to bodily experience as a sense of deeper satisfaction. It can come just from being aware in the body. Quite often for many people, it can emanate from the lower abdomen or within the lower abdomen. As it were, radiating out from the lower abdomen. Also get in contact with this quality just by saying words like deep peace, contentment, or even images such as a deep lake still water so these phrases or images can help to highlight what is there in the body feeling within the body. And as with the more energetic preeti, this quality can increase simply by becoming more aware of it. Tending to it.
still working with the breath. And also look for this quality within the breathing. Usually more noticeable on the out breath or at the end of the out breath. Just as the breathing, more energetic, pretty energy is more noticeable on the in breath. And it's like the energizing of the in-breath, giving way to a deep calm on the out-breath. Energizing again on the in-breath, deep calm on the out-breath.
much. So we'll have a break for five minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, chance to have a conversation. <laughs>